do we need to, I mean, just to answer one, um, a common, I, I guess, myth out there, whether it's a myth or not, I mean, do we actually need to detoxify our liver or is it more about, you know, that, that will naturally happen when we focus on re eating more real food and things like that? I mean, do we need to do liver cleanses and things like that? Or, you know, what do you have? A yeah, look, there's no, um, I guess the... A detox implies that there's a sort of build-up of something nasty in the system that needs to be purged. And um, uh, there is no such thing happens in um, in human biology. So there is uh, no build-up of waste product or chemical or fat that, you know, a one week or a two week or a one month detox is going to cleanse. So that's not true. You know, your liver is doing all of its chemical reactions real time. So if it needs to get rid of one or two or 10 nasty chemicals, it's doing that in seconds or minutes continually. So there's no build up of something that needs to be cleansed. Having mm -hmm. said that, um, if you've got, um, if you are living, if you've got poor lifestyle issues, meaning your dietary choices are poor or you're exercising inadequately, then your whole body metabolism suffers as a consequence of that. And um, the most common consequence of that with respect to organ systems and disease is that you get fat deposited in your liver and that causes liver injury. So that's when we were talking about before how common is liver disease. Well, a third of the Australian population has got fatty liver and fatty liver is due to deposits of droplets of fat within the liver cells and that causes damage to those liver cells and inflammation and scarring. And that is really, really common and absolutely totally reversible. But of course, if it's a lifestyle problem that is making your liver sick, a quick detox is not the solution. The solution to a lifestyle problem that is making you unwell is to um, remove the, you know, the detrimental thing in your lifestyle, not a quick lifestyle. purge. Mm, mm, absolutely and I, I think most of the people watching will will be uh well onto that definitely and um I, i'm interested though because you say it's very common and you know i suppose it would have been a time where it would have just been from alcohol right if you had fatty liver it was kind of connected oh you must be you know drinking too much and i've actually had clients even you know not that long ago who are older but who have been told by their doctor to stop drinking so much because it's causing their fatty liver. Um, so can you talk a little bit about that? Is I mean, I know alcohol, excess alcohol probably is an issue, but is that likely to be the case with so many people being now diagnosed with fatty liver disease? So um, I think it's a really, this is a really, really important point. And um, fatty liver is a non- Fatty liver really just means there's excess fat in your liver. In the ideal world, there's almost no fat within your liver. And you can go from almost no fat to 100% of your liver cells full of fat. And so there's this continuous thing. And the most common cause of that is lifestyle. And we'll maybe talk about that later on. It's poor dietary choices and poor exercise choices. That's what's doing it. And with those poor lifestyle and dietary choices, your whole body metabolism gets upset. But other things can cause fatty liver. Um, if you ask anyone what's the number one cause of, number two cause of liver injury, on the only thing on most people's lists is alcohol. And it is very easy for people to think their liver trouble could be due to alcohol when it's not, and or for doctors to think someone's liver problem is due to alcohol when it's not. And also, as I said before, when I went to uni in the 1980s, fatty liver disease wasn't a diagnosis. So, a lot of general practitioners out there who went to medical school in the 1960s or 1970s or 1980s or maybe even the 1990s won't have been taught about this at medical school and they may not have heard much about it since. So they will be thinking still fatty liver disease, they're actually a closet drinker when actually there's this whole new phenomenon has now been understood that it's a metabolic problem going on.